Well, our next guest is not only one of my good friends, but he also happens to be Magnum P.I. No, I am not talking about Tom Selleck. I am talking about Mr. Jay Hernandez. Come on out here, Jay. That's right, baby. <laughs> Look at that grand entrance and everything, brother. Thank you. I love great it. to see I you, love man. It. Have a seat. You know, I, it's all, first of all, it's always great to see you. You're looking extra tan coming back from yeah, the islands yeah, right it's here. It's funny. Uh, when I'm out of Hawaii, I, I go like a, a couple shades lighter. And when I get back there, I go like five shades darker. Yeah, exactly. exactly. I spent too much time there. People start thinking I'm Samoan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'll get darker. Got to work start, on that tan, baby. Got to work on that tan. tan. But I always love seeing you because I always kind of swell with pride because I like to tell people I feel partially responsible. That's right. For you yes, getting into yeah, this business. Yeah, I know. Because the guy, you have an old school Hollywood story. You were literally discovered in an elevator by a dude who I got hired with the job. I mean, right? <laughs> yeah, For yeah. For those not familiar, give the cliff note version. So, so yeah, I mean, I ran into a guy literally in an elevator. He saw me walk in, and, and he jumped in, and from, like, the 10th floor to the first floor, he pitched me on, like, how I was going to be in Hollywood, and it was going to make it big, and I would be in movies and all this kind of stuff, and... And he was the guy who discovered me. And I guess you guys had the relationship yeah, for some I got him time that job. before that. Yeah, that's, that's, that's so I love crazy. It. It's so I, crazy. It, his Howard Tyner, may he rest in peace. Yes, rest in peace. he was a yeah, great, man. great guy right he there. He was a nut, though. He was such he a was nut. He was a nut. Great character, though, and really <laughs> yeah, cared for you, yeah, funny which was dude. awesome, man. And right now, you couldn't have a cooler gig shooting Magnum P.I. in Hawaii. But it was delayed this year. So when did you get to, when did you get to go? Everything would changed obviously sure. because of COVID. We had tons of protocol. We had a lot of different things that we had to do uh, because a lot of what we do is, is exterior locations with yeah. tons of extras. You want to get the beach. You want to get you know right. just like a lot a lot of activity and all that. But you know? Hawaii itself is like as socially distanced as it can get from other states. Yeah, well right? that's that was kind of one of the good things about Hawaii yeah. is, is it's isolated, so you're able to like Monitor. track who's coming in, right. who's going out, and test everybody. And during shooting, I mean, we had some of the lowest rates of COVID in the entire country. That's great, man. Yeah. And have you yeah. taken up surfing yet? I think I asked you a while back and you hadn't. But no, I hadn't surfed at all. You know, it was funny because I, I stayed with Zach, you know, Zach Knight on the show uh, who plays Rick uh, the, the entire first season. We stayed together. We lived together. We had, I, had, I rented this place. There was nothing there. And the very first thing I got was a surfboard. Zach, he's like, oh, let's, let's go check it out. Let's just go check it out. I don't even have a couch and I got a, a surfboard in my house, right? So I have it there. It's sitting there for like a couple years. I don't ever get on it. And then finally this season, um, I had a little bit of time off on the weekends. You know, the schedule was a little bit better. Yeah. And so I made an effort to get out there in the water. And I got to say, man, I love it. Isn't you're it right? awesome? It's such a... Even like, if you're not catching all the waves, just being out there It doesn't fun, even right? matter. I mean, yeah. one of the first times I went out there, it was near sunset because it was after work. And I'm just looking at the skyline of Honolulu, and it, you know, the the sun is like dancing off the water, and people yeah. are just chilling, having a good time in the waves. And I was like, I get it. Totally. You know, this is yeah. why people do it. That's and like a pinch me moment. Yeah. So I had to, uh, I had to like get out there a couple more times, and and I, I'm hooked. I would say I'm hooked yeah. at this point. Yeah. So you're gonna be coming out looking like Kelly Slater pretty yeah, soon. Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know about that, but <laughs> I'm gonna do my best. So uh, taking a deep dive into your IG, one of the photos I thought was pretty cool. I don't know if it was like a bachelor party, what was going on in Hawaii, but Oh, you, got a, <laughs> you got a horse's head. That looks like, homie looks like an astronaut. That looks like a good time right there. I think it's Buzz Lightyear. I'm not sure. Is that Buzz Lightyear? This is, this is, um, <laughs> this is my, my homage to BoJack Horseman. You know, it's like yeah, I yeah. actually was on an episode of BoJack. Oh, really? And it was funny because uh, the Halloween before this one, um, we it was Halloween night, and nobody had any costumes, and, and we wanted to go out in Chinatown and go hang out and have a couple drinks. And we went to a, a, a Halloween store and just bought a bunch of random stuff, you know, like horse heads, afros, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, face paint, like a bunch of stuff. And so that was like left over from the prior year. And I just threw it on. You know, I had nothing to do. It's and good time. We just went to Zach's house because it was COVID times. You yeah, know? yeah, so yeah. we had to kind of like make something happen. And I just realized I didn't know there was a Chinatown in Hawaii. I guess there's a Chinatown everywhere. Yeah, there's there kind of a Chinatown everywhere, but yeah. it's, it's like it's like the cool part of town. You know, yeah. it's like where the hipsters are, okay. where the cool little restaurants are. Good to know. Yeah, it's, it's Good. definitely like a kind of a nice little secret. Yeah. Because all the tourists stay in Honolulu. Yeah, and, and oh, locals it, don't really go to Honolulu. They don't really go. No, huh? no, no, they stay okay. away. You yeah. guys stay in the, that one island pretty much in Oahu? Yeah, yeah, all their stuff is on yeah. Oahu. That's yeah. where it's all going down. Yeah. Um, they just announced NCIS Hawaii. Yeah. With, yeah. coincidentally, Vanessa Lachey, who I actually feel like I partially discovered, too. I'm going to tell you why. <laughs> oh, cool. here we I'm go. Check here this we out. Go. Here we go. I was hosting Miss Teen USA <laughs> when she won. I crowned her. <laughs> 
So there's a, it, okay, that's valid. That's valid, that's right? Valid. You did discover. So, I got a credit. so that's funny. So, so you got to call her up and get your percentage, man. That's like, what I'm, I'm saying. looking at like five, ten percent. I'm something. very proud. Like when I see you and I go, Valette, she's a sweetheart too. So she's so she's gonna be the lead now in NCIS. Um, that's super cool. Yeah, yeah I heard about Hawaii. that. I, I imagine that we're gonna. Well, it's all see, it's gonna CBS. Have kind of cross paths yeah, at some point. That'd be yeah. a cool crossover, yeah, right yeah, there. Yeah, definitely. I like because in your version of Magnum PI, obviously. Um, Higgins is uh, is is a woman, and you guys kind of have like that moonlighting, will they or won't they yeah. sort of relationship. Well, Jay, we have an exclusive clip from your show. Tell us what's going on. Well, right here, um, there's a stalker, which is part of the case that we're involved in, and um, I'm finding information. But I think more importantly, I'm finding information out about Higgins' love life. And all right, <laughs> let's check it out. The only thing on his cell phone is just one picture. Of Chloe? No, some man. He's early 50s. It looks like it was age progressed. I'm sending it to you now. OK, got it. I'm going to run it now. Hey, how did it go with Ethan? Actually, it went quite well. We're back together. OK, that's good. Um, so he's not leaving? No, no, he, he's still leaving. We don't know what's going to happen next. We're just figuring it out. Ah, so. If it was up to you, would they or wouldn't they? They would not. Not right. yet. To not keep yet the, keep no, the, I think you got to draw that out. The That's chase something, is fun. Yeah, yeah. If you take away that dynamic, I think a really fun aspect of the show gets taken away. It changes everything. Yeah, so yeah. I, I've told Purdy this a number of times. I'm like, when we get the script and it says, like, Magnum and, and Higgins, they kiss or whatever it is, yeah. we know the show's over. Is it kiss and death? <laughs> yeah, it's kiss and death. <laughs> like, no. it's just a fun dynamic yeah, that we get to is. explore and play around with. And, and I think we should kind of draw that out as, as long as possible. Possible. Yeah, I'm yeah. with you. I'm with you right there. Last time um, we had you on the show, I sent you a burrito. Remember that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly the burrito. And the timing was perfect. You, right? You, you, you literally, hey, check your front door. door doorbell rings, and there's a massive burrito there. Like, <laughs> That's how we do it. <laughs> I don't know how you pulled it off, but it was pretty well done. You, well I done. know you like food. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I actually brought in a very talented chef, Chef Marcella, who's going to uh, cook something up for us so people can have something delicious to watch while they're, uh, or while they're watching Magnum I love PI. it. Let's right? do it. All right. So the Magnum PI finale airs tomorrow night on CBS at 9 p.m.